In the standard model of particle physics, the Kabibakobayashi Maskawa matrix is a unitary matrix which contains information on the strength of flavor changing weak decays. Technically, it specifies the mismatch of quantum states of quarks when they propagate freely and when they take part in the weak interactions. It is important in the understanding of CP violation. This matrix was introduced for three generations of quarks by Makoto Kobayashi and Hide Maskawa, adding one generation to the matrix previously introduced by Nikola Kabiba. This matrix is also an extension of the GIM mechanism, which only includes two of the three current families of quarks, the matrix. In 1963, Nikola Kabiba introduced the Kabiba angle to preserve the universality of the weak interaction. Kabiba was inspired by previous work by Murray Gell-Mann and Morris Eliakut V.Y. on the effectively rotated non-strange and strange vector and axial weak currents, which he references. In light of current knowledge, the Kabiba angle is related to the relative probability that down and strange quarks decay into up quarks. In particle physics parlance, the object that couples to the up quark via charged current weak interaction is a superposition of down type quarks, here denoted by D. Mathematically, this is, or using the Kabibo angle. Using the currently accepted values for VUD and VUS, the Cabi Bo angle can be calculated using where the charm quark was discovered in 1974. It was noticed that the down and strange quark could decay into either the up or charm quark, leading to two sets of equations, or using the Kabiba angle. This can also be written in matrix notation as or using the Kabiba angle where the various Vij2 represent the probability that the quark of J flavor decays into a quark of I flavor. This 2 times 2 rotation matrix is called the Kabiba matrix. Observing that CP violation could not be explained in a 4-quark model, Kobayashi and Maskawa generalized the Kabibo matrix into the Kabiba kobayashi maskawa matrix to keep track of the weak decays of three generations of quarks. On the left is the weak interaction doublet partners of up-type quarks, and on the right is the CKM matrix along with a vector of mass eigenstates of down-type quarks. The CKM matrix describes the probability of a transition from one quark I to another quark J. These transitions are proportional to Vij2. Currently, the best determination of the magnitudes of the CKM matrix elements is. Note that the choice of usage of downtype quarks in the definition is purely arbitrary and does not represent some sort of deep physical asymmetry between uptype and downtype quarks. We could just as easily define the matrix the other way around, describing weak interaction partners of mass eigenstates of uptype quarks, U, C, and T, in terms of U, C, and T. Since the CKM matrix is unitary, we would obtain essentially the same matrix. Counting. To proceed further, it is necessary to count the number of parameters in this matrix, V which appear in experiments and therefore are physically important. If there are n generations of quarks then an n times n unitary matrix requires n two real parameters to be specified. Two n minus one of these parameters are not physically significant, because one phase can be absorbed into each quark field, but an overall common phase is unobservable. Hence, the total number of free variables independent of the choice of the phases of basis vectors is n2 minus equals 2. If these n2 are rotation angles called quark mixing angles, the remaining two are complex phases, which cause CP violation. For the case n equals 2, there is only one parameter which is a mixing angle between two generations of quarks. Historically, this was the first version of CKM matrix when only two generations were known. It is called the Kabiba angle after its inventor Nikola Kabiba. For the standard model case, there are three mixing angles and one CP violating complex phase. Observations and Predictions 
Cabibo's idea originated from a need to explain two observed phenomena. The transitions U D, E nu E, and mu nu mu had similar amplitudes. The transitions with change in strangeness delta S equals 1 had amplitudes equal to one quarter of those with delta S equals 0. Cabibo's solution consisted of postulating weak universality to resolve the first issue, along with a mixing angle theta C, now called the Cabibo angle, between the D and S quarks to resolve the second. For two generations of quarks, there are no CPU violating phases, as shown by the counting of the previous section. Since CP violations were seen in neutral K on decays already in 1964, the emergence of the standard model soon after was a clear signal of the existence of a third generation of quarks, as pointed out in 1973 by Kobayashi and Maskawa. The discovery of the bottom quark at Fermilab in 1976 therefore immediately started off the search for the missing third generation quark the top quark. Note, however, that the specific values of the angles are not a prediction of the standard model. They are open, unfixed parameters. At this time, there is no generally accepted theory that explains why the measured values are what they are. Weak universality. The constraints of unitarity of the CKM matrix on the diagonal terms can be written as for all generations I. This implies that the sum of all couplings of any of the up-type quarks to all the down-type quarks is the same for all generations. This relation is called weak universality and was first pointed out by Nicola Carbiba in 1967. Theoretically it is a consequence of the fact that all SU doublets couple with the same strength to the vector bosons of weak interactions. It has been subjected to continuing experimental tests, the unitarity triangles. The remaining constraints of unitarity of the CKM matrix can be written in the form for any fixed and different i and j. This is a constraint on three complex numbers, one for each k, which says that these numbers form the sides of a triangle in the complex plane. There are six choices of i and j, and hence six such triangles, each of which is called a unitary triangle. Their shapes can be very different, but they all have the same area, which can be related to the CP violating phase. The area vanishes for the specific parameters in the standard model for which there would be no CP violation. The orientation of the triangles depend on the phases of the quark fields. Since the three sides of the triangles are open to direct experiment, as are the three angles, a class of tests of the standard model is to check that the triangle closes. This is the purpose of a modern series of experiments underway at the Japanese Bell and the American Barbar experiments, as well as at LHCB in CERN, Switzerland. Parameterizations Four independent parameters are required to fully define the CKM matrix. Many parameterizations have been proposed, and three of the most common ones are shown below. KM parameters The original parameterization of Kobayashi and Maskawa used three angles in a CP violating phase. Cosines and sines of the angles are denoted CI and C, respectively. Theta 1 is the Kabiba angle. Standard parameters A. Standard parameterization of the CKM matrix uses three Euler angles and one CP violating phase. Couplings between quark generation I and J vanish if theta IJ equals zero. Cosines and sines of the angles are denoted CIJ and SIJ, respectively. Theta 12 is the Kabiba angle. The currently best known values for the standard parameters are theta 12 equals 70011303999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
and delta 13 equals 7000121000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000